all right guys welcome back so now we'll be considering coordination number four so for this coordination number four is very delicate so look at the way i'm drawing my square you need to draw the same way so you can understand now i'm supposed to draw my square from here but i wouldn't do that because it's going to make my drawing look too i don't know ununderstandable so i'll come down here at this angle right then draw my square join everything together right that's because i want to be able to see every angle so you should please learn the way i'm drawing this okay so now we're paying attention to this x y and z axis that's this line this line we'll pay attention to that line so at the edge of each line we'll place an anion there so please pay attention this is the only visible you can draw this and not get twisted while you're trying to solve so you place a cation at this end of this axis or these lines right then the last one will be up here somewhere here cool right then we begin to draw out our line connect this to this connect this to this okay i think i need to use another ink let me revert my step revert revert then pick another ink right so we connect this to this 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 and connect this to this so literally what we have now is we have this diagram this diagram so literally what's happening is we have three balls oh sorry three anions seated here right then in between the anions we have a cation in the center here just like in three but now the issue is above this cation above this cation is another ball right this is the fourth cation so imagine if i shade this cation i just drew, i just drew or this anion i just drew sorry if i shade this anion i just drew it's going to cover it it's going to overlay it but Okay, I won't be shading the initial standard. These three anions, one, two, and number three, they surround the white cation in the center. Then this is the fourth one that sits on it for us not to see. So as you can see, they have to dent it here. Can you see they have to break it here so we can see the cation that they are all trying to cover in between themselves? So looking at this triangle now, we are so I'm coming. I need to change my ink again now i need to show you the lines that we are concerned about we need to look for the length of this line right we need to look for the length of this line two then we need to look for the length of this third line i'll be drawing which is in the center here something that goes from this wall straight down through the cation through the cation down to this place so if i'm to draw a full triangle so this is what um interested in can you see the rainbow colored um the rainbow colored i'm coming let me change the ink again so we don't get confused i need i don't need rainbow color please just give me red yeah let me trace out the red line i think red is always visible so we are so into this line we need to know what is there the length of that place we need to know the length of this place as well then we need to know the length sorry we need to know the length of this place as well because this long one is traveling through um the the cation and the anion which is this guy we don't know the length of this place we don't know the length of this place right but we know this length because if i draw it out okay so then let's call this line h right so if i draw it out we have this two anions are sitting on line h right then we have sorry then we have our x's that we don't know right so this h denotes as ra and ra so we know we have two radius so we go ahead and solve to look for our x so we go ahead and say hypotenuse square is equals to x square plus x square where well, our hypotenuse is r a plus r a square r a plus r a square i'm coming let me rewrite that we have r a plus r a square 
equal to x square plus x square and we so therefore we have 2 r a according to bracket square equals to 2 x square so when we bring this out we have 4 r a square is equals to 2 x square right so our goal is we are finding x so we make x the subject formula we divide this side by 2 divide this side by 2 so this cancels and this cancels as 2 so we have 2 r a square is equal to x square so by the time we give it the roots so x is therefore equal to root 2 r a square whereby our x is equal to root 2 then r a this is our x so we come back here yeah we come back here and label these places as roots sorry you know this is now root 2 dot r a same as this guy which is root 2 dot r a so if these two lines are root 2 dot r a then we already know we already know what this line is we know it to be root 2 dot r a so we bring out our red triangle or red triangle or uh, red triangle i'm coming draw so i want to draw with the red so we bring out this red again the red triangle so we know this is our h it is equals to 2 r a and this is our root 2 dot r a root 2 dot r a then this is our unknown so let's call this y which is unknown so therefore first of all we need to note that coming let me pick my white ink here yeah. so we need to note that this is where our cation is our cation is somewhere here right then our anion is here right then we have another anion here cool so let's solve y square is equal to 2 r a square plus root 2 r a square whereby our y square is equal to we have 4 r a square plus 2 r a square which gives us y square is equal to 6 r a square to y is equal to y is equal to root 6 dot r a all i just did is root 6 then roots of our, our, our r square cancels um the, the roots cancels the r square so we have our y to be this right so therefore we need to substitute this our y remember i told you we need to substitute this our y so looking at this triangle right okay so if you look at this this is where our radius of cation stops so we drag it downwards draw an invisible line right because we don't have any atom here so we are not concerned with anything outside this area right therefore we'll be considering this small triangle which this is our cation this is the anion right and that so now it's going to be denoted our equation will change because it's now half right so we have it to be y over 2 is equal to now how many atoms are here we have radius of r a we have a radius of r c y over 2 is equal to r is equal to r a plus r c sorry this is r a now why is y over 2 remember we just divided it into half we divided this into half right in this place we divided into half on this on this line so that is why it is now y over 2 no more complete y so if we multiply through by 2 we are going to have y is equals to 2 r a plus 2 r c then we substitute this into this equation which we'll be calling our equation one 
so let's go draw take my white pen so substituting that is equation one we know that our y is equals to two r a plus two r c equal to root six times r a so collecting like times we have two r c is equal to root six of r a minus two r a then collecting like times again we have two r c is equal to root six minus two times r a so our goal is to cancel r a here so to cancel our r a we divide by r a and our goal is to cancel two here so we divide by two times r a then two times r a also so here r a cancels r a then here two cancels two so therefore therefore our r c over r a is going to be equal to root six minus two over 2 which is going to be equal to 0 0.225 alright guys thank you very much make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and share the video bye thanks